What's up guys, this is Lord Savine, and I just want to let you know that I'm giving away a copy of this game. A uh, couple rules for entry, you uh, need to be a subscriber, and then you need to leave me a comment on this video and let me know what about this game excites you the most. What What is the coolest part about this, or what, what, do you, what makes you want to play it, that kind of thing. And the comment that I like the most will win. I'll choose the winner on March 31st, that's a Saturday in about a week or so. Um, so get in there, give me your comments, and good luck! What's up, guys? This is Lord Savine. Ah. And welcome to another episode of One Shots. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the game To the Moon, which uh, is an indie game that was released last year, and I'm going to have to say it's one of the best games I've played ever. Uh, it was released last year, and it's it's just it's just awesome. <laughs> I mean, I can't explain it any other way. Um, <sighs> describing this game is very difficult. It's it's a it's a 2D story-driven RPG um, that has just fantastic art, uh, fantastic music. I mean, the music is just awesome, uh, and the story is really, really good, really good. So, I mean, as you can see, just the, the spriting and the, you know, like the chairs and the details there, and, ah, uh, it's so good. So, I mean, it starts out with a basic premise. You're trying to grant the wish of some old guy who's dying. You don't know anything about what's going on or anything like that. It starts you out kind of in the dark, and you play as these two scientists or doctors here, Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts. Uh, Dr. Watts is kind of a smartass, and Rosaline is, is she's she's kind of business. She's just very business-like, but she also, um, there's a couple situations where she gets really kind of sentimental and that kind of stuff, so um, it's really interesting to see their dialogue here, you know, it's they're, they're supposed to have been working together for years, and you can kind of tell that and kind of what they're, you know, what they babble about, what they go on and on about. So the actual controls in this game are super simple. You can move around and you can move your mouse pointer. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can interact with some things in the environment if uh, if the game lets you. Um, but it, it's very minimal. Like that, this is one of those games that doesn't necessarily have to be a game. Like this could have been a movie or uh, a book or something, and it would have worked just as well. But it's interesting they made it a game, and they were able to do, put in some references that I think are really, really hilarious. Like a little bit later, um, there's a Final Fantasy reference, and it's, it's just, it's really funny what happens. But I mean, you start out playing as this, and you don't really know much. Like I said, all you know is that you're going to be trying to grant the wish of this old man who's dying by using this advanced technology. This is sometime in the future, some, something like that. And you can go into his memories and rewrite them. And so you, you just kind of show up. Of course, the car wrecks, as you saw. And then now they're going to head up to the house and kind of meet meet the old man, meet the, you know, the, the, the family that lives there, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's really all I'm going to say about the story. Like, I'm not going to spoil this for you because... This is one of those games you can't really talk about much. You just kind of have to do it. And I highly suggest it. It's... I, I, I cannot recommend this enough. Um, it's... Like I it's about five hours long. And like I said, it's not... It's pretty easy to control. It's not... It didn't necessarily have to be a game. But the fact that the story is just so good... Y you can't pass this up. I believe it's $12 at the developer's website... You need to go pick up this game. There's not there's not many games that I'm like, you have to play this game. This is one of those games, you have to go play this game. And when you do, I have a couple of tips. Number one, take your time. This is not Call of Duty. This is not, you know, Terraria. This isn't all craziness. Take your time and look at all the details, you know? It, it, it's not going to be... You know, some of those point-and-click adventure games, like you have to really scour for details, and if you don't get it, then you end up it, it, you, you don't get like all the little details you don't end up piecing them together and then you end up missing a big part of the game because you just don't understand something that's going on in this game it doesn't do that to you it explains everything but it gives you the opportunity to make your assumptions and that kind of stuff 
you know, like to kind of guess and be like, oh, I think I know what's going on. And then it'll slowly kind of reveal things. Um, and so if you pay attention to details, you'll have an opportunity to sit there and draw some, well, I say draw some conclusions, make some hypothes uh, hypotheses about what's going on. You know, like you might say, oh, I noticed this little thing. So maybe this is what's going on. And that feeling whenever you are playing along and you have a hunch of what's going on and then that hunch is either confirmed or denied that makes this game so much more powerful so again just kind of take it in and play slow and take in all the details that's you will get so much number two is play through this game twice there's a couple of things it, it doesn't uh it doesn't do the typical story driven thing where it you know gives you this you know this stupid open-ended you know, ending to the game where it's like, oh, you could just make it wh whatever you want, you know. It, it doesn't do that. It has an ending. Um, but there are parts about the ending that you can kind of leave up to your own interpretation. So play through it a second time and see what details you can catch and see if you can't piece some things together. Ugh. The music is so awesome, and one of my favorite people of all time helped do some of the music, uh, the vocal track in the song. Um, it's called Everything's Alright, and it is fantastic. It's by Laura Shigihara, and I love her. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's, that's going to about do it for this one shot. I don't want to show you guys any more. You're just going to have to get this game, and once again, just go do it. It's worth every single penny of that $12. I'll see you guys later. Peace.